on your cable is take the solder and kind of push it in the pinhole to make sure that it actually gets in there. Sorry if you guys can't see all this, but you can't see the quality anyway, but I need to get the right angle. Okay, well all the points are soldered on. Check to make sure that you didn't get it in between any of the points. Doesn't look like I did, but I think that's a piece of shit. There we go. Looks okay, but I want to put a little bit more solder on this on this one point because it's missing solder. Check. Just to make sure that there's no solder, take your razor and scrape in between all the points. It looks like it's fine, so I'm going to take my digitizer, plug the cable back in. and start up my iPod, which it still starts up. If you can see. Sorry. So, while that boots up, I'm going to go grab my earplug buds. Nope, got them here. to slide to unlock. Battery low, whatever. Uh, launch music. Just select the song. Volume switch still works, which is good. You can hear it. Plug in your iPod. Or, I mean, your head jack. Music stopped. So that means that the jack is working, at least some of it. And test your earphones. And there you go. It works. Turn up the bottom all the way. This is the right, this is the left, there's both of them, no wobble, where the left to right would go out, no wobble at all. So that was how to 
resolder and repair your iPod Touch. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to see uh, some more videos, I'll see what I can do. Um, you know, glad this helped. This cost, this total repair cost me um, after two replacement audio jacks. It cost me six dollars. I went into Apple and I asked them to put uh, to repair my iPod for me because my audio jack went out. They wanted a hundred and fifty fucking dollars. Sorry to swear, but that is ridiculous. I went on eBay, got a freaking jack for three forty-five. Took me what, uh, maybe twenty minutes? Is how long this video is? Sat it on the new jack. Bam, works just fine. Three dollars versus a hundred and fifty. There you go, YouTube. This is how to replace. Reset her on your replacement audio jack on your iPod Touch second generation, and I would assume this would work on the third and, third and first generation iPod Touch. Thanks, guys. Um, you know, go check out the website if you want to see more videos or higher quality videos. Um, I'm not rich. Donate, and I'll uh, see what I can do depending on uh, what I'm leaning toward. Definitely getting a new camera, though, for one of my high primaries. Thanks, YouTube. Uh, see you guys later.